Hey guys, Jim here. So I just watched a video by Linus Tech Tips about the new king in couch gaming. It was just fairly impressive, but um, I wasn't so impressed by the price. And I think a lot of people in the comments section felt the same way. In fact, a guy named Fumpernuckle asked if anyone had done sort of DIY setup, which is what I've done. So let me show you what I've built here for my couch gaming. I made this a long time ago for long bouts of Skyrim and love it. Uh, I thought about redoing it, but I don't think there's a need. It's very simple. It's two pieces of plywood and a cushion underneath, but it does open up to store my mouse, mouse pad, of course, and a wireless keyboard. This is just a K260 Logitech wireless. It's not anything special, but I've put many hours on this. It used to be a daily driver. I've played many games on it and I couldn't complain. Now, in the video, you probably saw that Linus had to move his hands over off to the side to type, which is very awkward. For a few seconds, it's not a big deal. Maybe to chat, maybe make fun of somebody for a quick session of chatting. But if I slide this over, I can type on here for days. If I'm in a long terminal session in Linux, I've got no issues. Slide it back to the left and I'm ready for WASD again. What I like about this is I can slide it left and right to get just the right spot for me to be very comfortable. And I can even rotate the keyboard like this if I feel it's more comfortable that way. Another great thing I like about this is without moving my legs, I can rotate the platform from flat vertical or flat horizontal, sorry, to tilting 30 degrees back or more. And this keeps my wrists straight so that it's ergonomic and I didn't hurt my wrists. I don't put a lot of pressure on this board here. Well, one thing I haven't figured out yet is the, uh, the mouse drift. I mean, if I lean this back too much, it's a goner. I've seen some people say you could add some friction pads and other things, but I feel like that would interfere with the mousing while I wanted to move it. But let me show you a close up of it and you can see the details of it because you probably can't see it with this dark background. Okay, so let me show you how this uh, looks closer up. First of all, I use sort of a matte black because I figured the projector would bounce light off and it would get in your eye or something and it just wouldn't look good, but um, be prepared. This isn't super clean in, inside. By that, I mean the felt is, uh, was not big enough, so I, cut it. I had smaller pieces that I glued on there piecewise. And my idea for this thing was to have sort of a black and gold or brass or bronze with the brown right here, match the brass hardware here and here. And that broke down, of course, when I used rivets up here and over here. Um, I had originally had brass screws, but they were way too long and would have poked through, and then I didn't take the time to smooth them out, and they fell out. So the rivets worked well. And on this side, I have my mouse. I glued in this little divider here. It's just foam. And inside is the, uh, the box, again with matte black finish, smoothed out, sanded down, sealed, and hopefully good for a couple of years. It's really just that. So this plywood is a quarter inch, and it's one sheet for the top, this interior box. And then the main platform you see here is three quarters inch plywood, which is just scrap that I had lying around. After I made this interior box, I made this uh, three quarters inch plywood cut out and then I had the dimensions for what I wanted so I made a cushion of that dimension and it's just stapled on here. You can't see it very well but these two screws come out and allow you to change out the cushion and I'll show you that just right now. Easy does it. So. Actually, I forgot about this piece in here. This is just uh, three quarters plywood. It looks a lot like this piece that you just saw. It sits in there just enough. There's probably a little bit of clearance around here. And then uh, just regular cotton. It's super cheap, very easy to put together. You just load up the staples on either side and all the way around. And my idea was actually to make a couple of these so I could swap them out if I ever wanted to. But I really like the way this looks and it slides around on your lap so it's easy to move back and forth if you want to. So that's the interior, very straightforward.
And of course, once you're all settled in, it's always nice to be able to kick back and turn on everything with your remote controls, except for the computer. Fortunately, I've got that covered too. Lights off. And turn on computer. Hope you enjoyed.